So what's the story with the Finch mattress from Nest Bedding and how is it different from the Owl mattress from Nest Bedding? We're gonna talk about that in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm a CNET, and we're gonna have our solar review of the Finch mattress from Nest Bedding with a little bit of comparison to the Owl mattress because they are very, very similar with some key differences that you're probably gonna to wanna to know about. If you find this video helpful, interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot of stuff in the description to help with your online mattress search, including any discounts you can find on any of the beds from Nest Bedding or any other beds you might be looking at. Let's quickly run through the policies for the Finch mattress. We're gonna have them up on screen so you can read them. They go above and beyond the usual online mattress standard of the trial period by giving you an entire year, which is fantastic, and they offer a lifetime warranty. There'll be more specific details about these policies down below in the description. There is one thing that Nest Bedding does differently that we should talk about though, and that is their lifetime renewal exchange program. On many of the beds from Nest Bedding, including the Finch mattress, the top comfort layer is actually removable, and with the lifetime renewal exchange program, at any point in the lifespan of the mattress, whether it be within the trial period or you know 15 years later, you can get a replacement comfort layer at no extra charge. So this means if you find the mattress has you know, softened up a little bit too much to your liking or the foam starts to degrade somehow, you can get a new one sent out to extend the life of the mattress, which I think is pretty cool. Now, most of the time when you purchase a bed from Nest and it is eligible for this program, it is included with the mattress purchase, but sometimes it's not. They do have a separate price listed on their website, but generally it comes with the mattress. So. If you're checking out with an S bedding, make sure that it is included somehow because I think it's something you're gonna to wanna to have. So let's get into the construction of the Finch mattress, which will then lead into what it's actually gonna feel like for it to sleep on on a nightly basis. So this is a full latex mattress. And when I mean full latex, I mean that all the layers inside the mattress are made entirely of latex foam. The outside, the cover and stuff like that are gonna be made with different materials. But on the inside, you get all latex. And latex is pretty unique when it comes to materials that mattresses are made of because it is naturally derived from the sap of a rubber tree as opposed to being chemical based. There are lots of mattresses like this that combine coils and latex foam to make latex foam hybrids, but this one is gonna be full latex. So the support layer is made of latex foam, the primary comfort layer is made of latex foam, and then you have this nice European pillow top situation that is a mix of wool and cotton. For anyone familiar with latex beds at all, the feel of the Finch mattress will not surprise you. Latex foam has a pretty unique feel it's ultra responsive, which means when you leave pressure from it, it snaps back into its original shape almost immediately. You get nice cushioning from it, but it doesn't really conform to your body all that much. I would kind of describe the feel of a latex foam bed to be sort of buoyant and responsive at the same time. So you get that very quintessential latex foam feel with the Finch mattress, which makes a lot of sense. We also like to describe the feel of beds like this to be virtually the exact opposite of a memory foam, because a memory foam, you really sink into it and it conforms to your body's shape, and it is very slow to respond. So I think as long as you're not specifically seeking out a memory foam feel in your mattress, you'll probably enjoy the feel of a latex foam bed like this, although it is not quite as universally comfortable as something like a soft neutral foam. But I think a lot of people will like it. I really like the feel of latex foam beds myself. Let's move over to the subject of firmness now. And this is a pretty nice feature of the Finch mattress because you're able to pick and choose your firmness level. It comes in a medium model and a firm model. In our testing, we did find the medium model to be slightly softer than a medium. I would actually say somewhere between a medium and a medium soft. Off, so it would be a nice option for strict side sleepers looking for a lot of pressure relief and for certain combo sleepers. That firm model though is gonna be somewhere around a medium firm, maybe a hair softer than that. So I think that one will be more accommodating overall. One thing to keep in mind is that all mattresses will eventually soften over time after years of use. So if you do get something like the medium firmness on the Finch mattress, you have to really make sure you want something that's only gonna get softer. If you aren't a strict side sleeper and you want something that's gonna work for all sleeping positions, I would probably recommend the firm model of the Finch first because it's generally pretty accommodating, maybe not quite soft enough for really strict side sleepers, but it will soften over time. So just keep that in mind. And this is a really good time to talk about the differences between the Finch mattress and the Owl mattress. Essentially, the Finch mattress is the foam version of the Owl. So the Owl has coils for support instead of additional latex foam. And on the Owl, you have three firmish options to choose from as opposed to just the two. And the medium on the Owl is actually closer to a true medium in comparison to the Finch. So some pretty key differences there. Let's move over to the topic of pricing. And at least as of when I'm recording this video, the price of the Owl and the Finch are virtually identical. And once you factor in discounts, you should expect to pay somewhere around two grand for a queen size in either bed. So a latex foam bed like the Finch tends to be a bit more expensive
than your average bed in a box mattress because latex foam is that natural material and there's just a bit more time and effort that goes into sourcing and creating latex foam in comparison to other foams. So there are many more affordable latex foam beds on the market, but they tend to be just a bit more expensive on average. Make sure you look down below in the description for up-to-date pricing and discounts on the Finch mattress. And at least as I'm recording this video, they are including the Lifetime Renewal Exchange program with this mattress, so that's pretty nice. And that leaves us with the question, who should consider picking up the Finch mattress for themselves? And I think that's probably a pretty specific person. In most ways, I think the Owl mattress is superior because it has coils, which means it's gonna be more supportive and durable over the long term, and you have more firmness options to choose from. I could see someone going with the Finch if they really, really want to not have a hybrid mattress, they want the latex foam support layer as opposed to the coils, and they want a latex foam bed that is really, really soft. You do have the medium option on the Finch mattress, which I think will be good for side sleepers. And a lot of latex foam beds tend to be a little bit firmer, so that's a bit more specialized. Although I did kind of recommend getting the firm version of the Finch for most people, but if you're specifically seeking out a side sleeper mattress, I think the medium will work really well. So I think this is kind of a very specialized mattress, but let us know what you think. Write us down below in the comment section. We'd love to get your thoughts. And again, tons of stuff in the description, including discounts, so be sure to take a look. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But that's gonna do it for me. This is Ona Seen at Home. I'll see you in the next one.